Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here and today in this video another FPV racing quadcopter from Ishin Banggood We are going to look at Hello. I sound like Yoda Today another quadcopter from Ishin Banggood We are going to look at <laughs> I love Yoda from Star Wars And Alishan Mo video you are watching So anyway, let's look at Ishin Wizard 220 FPV racing quadcopter from Banggood Ishin and this quadcopter seems to be making some waves because it's tough and it has some good performance as well. So let's take a look at the Ishin Visa 220 and see what comes inside the box. I'll talk about its feature, prepare it right away and take it out for flights today. This is the Ishin Wizard 220 FPV racing quadcopter. Now very first look at the frame and the quadcopter itself. You're gonna be happy because this is one tough quadcopter frame that you could actually trust with your crashes. Um, we will see how we will see later how hard and how fast I crash and what we break. I may break motors, ESCs, cameras and everything else but I don't think I will be able to actually break that frame. Well sometimes I'm actually wrong in my assumptions, sometimes things that look tough break very very easily but anyway this frame it is a tough frame anyhow. Alright now we will look at the components itself so in the box because the box was broken when it arrived so uh, first off, let's. So, for the sake of unboxing, I got a racing quadcopter Ishin Wizard 220. I got two pieces of carbon fiber motor uh, tools so that you can install and uh, remove the propellers. I got some rusty, rust, really rusty screws. Okay, I got a straight omni antenna. I got four lock nuts some zip ties, thank you, and thank you, thank you very much. Well, Ishii knows you you are gonna fly this hardcore and crash a lot, so they were kind enough to send you a whole lot of propellers. Wow, thank you very much Ishii. I was actually going to order propellers, but I don't have to now because these are plenty of propellers, and yes, I crash almost one or two times on each flight well not one or two times I crash these a couple of times a day so yeah I deserve those propellers alright focusing on the quadcopter I have one cable coming out which is probably a PPM cable so I will be able to install my PPM receiver now first off this is outside the quadcopter okay 4 mm thick uh, arms and frame itself is very very tough and rigid we have been babbling about this all this time the motors are MN2205-2300 kV motors and we have 20 amp BL Heli ESCs also says Ishin BL Heli ESCs these are rated for 2 to 4S batteries so I'm gonna fly this little bed board with a 4S battery and the back side here you can see a 200 milliwatt mini 5.8 GHZ video transmitter and on the front the camera is a 700 TV line FPV camera I believe the 90 degree angle wide angle FPV racing 700 TV line camera and of course if you are wondering these propellers are 5 inch King Kong brand propellers King Kong nice name now when it comes to the flight controller it has a SP Racing F3 flight controller inside let me take the top plate off so we can take a good look at the flight controller and other components inside. Uh, camera was mounted, uh, camera is adjustable for angles so you can adjust the camera angles but when it came it was uh, the lens was actually loose and moving I mean you can tighten or loosen like a screw 
So basically, I know once I put on the goggles, it will be totally out of focus and I will have to set focus and glue it right there. All right, so let me take off the uh, top plate and let's take a look inside. Okay, now we are in the belly of the Ishin Visa 220. SP Racing F3 flight controller. I believe, as I said, this is the uh, PPM setup cable. All right, one cable setup. There's no buzzer installed and I believe there is no OSD as well. I don't see anything. Right under the flight controller, you can see a power distribution board and everything is so cramped that I am actually worried about some short circuits. Anyway, I hope they actually did a good soldering job and made sure that there will be no uh, short circuiting. Anyway, they could have mounted a, a little bit higher. So still I see um, space on the screws. I might mount it a little bit higher because still we have plenty of space to mount it like you can see. Because still we have plenty of space to actually put it higher. We shouldn't worry about uh, making these things too close to each other. Uh, there was plenty of space in this frame. I don't know what Ishin people were thinking about and mounted these things too close to each other. So I'm gonna change that because I am a, a bit skeptical about you know those short circuits and everything, especially when you are crashing it really really hard. So I'm gonna mount this uh, flight controller a bit uh, higher uh, on top of the. Um, so I'm gonna mount this flight controller a little bit higher on top of this power distribution board. And at the same time, I'm gonna install my old trusted FreeSky D4R2 PPM receiver and configure the quadcopter right away. All right, so let's quickly set this quadcopter up and I will also show you my setup. I believe this one is running beta flight and I already have downloaded it. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.